Wagwan Massive MFC Bar, welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. Now in this video I will be sharing on the noni fruit, what Jamaicans call dopey sour sap and how I use that in my hair regimen. I'll be sharing on the benefits of noni, how you can take it internally and how you can use it on your scalp to accelerate your hair growth. Now if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe because I bring you information on using natural things to enhance your diet and just your general skin care. Stay tuned. To prepare the noni juice, you will need two bags or at least something that you can drain the liquid into. You will first need to wash the fruit to ensure that you remove any dirt and so on from it then you're going to pierce the bag the first bag put in the fruit and then put that bag into a second bag. This way you allow the fermented juice to drain into the second bag. The noni juice is used in Jamaica to make soaps and skin products. It's also used uh, to enhance the diet and one's nutrition known as biotin, collagen and traces of sulfur that are vital in promoting healthy hair and skin. It is especially useful in helping women to maintain healthy joints and bones. Noni juice is used to regulate the blood pressure and improve your general health. One thing also to note about the noni juice is that it has compounds such as butyric and glycerol that are very useful in promoting healthy hair as well. The seeds can be pressed to extract the oils and this can be used on your salads and in general skin and health care. Now look here man, I don't know why much more hasn't been said about noni but it has a lot of benefits and so you just need to add this to your diet and to your regular hair and skin care. You just won't regret it. Next, you will just tie this up into a very cool area and leave this for seven days. Now I only managed to capture four days based on my schedule and so I did up to day four so you can see how much liquid has drained into the bag up until day four. So on day seven remove the bag from the place where it's hanging and then you would next drain the juice from the bag. The juice is somewhat like wine so it doesn't have to be stored on the refrigerator it is it is already fermented and will not go bad so you can keep this up to a year after fermenting or even longer So I'll be actually use pressing the seeds, I'll be extracting oil from the seeds. So I'm just going to spread this out here and allow everything to dry. And then I will be pressing some oils from the seed that I'll be using on my skin and on my hair. Now just a word of caution, noni juice, it smells awful. 
so if you're going to be using this on your hair just know that you can't be going out into the public because the juice really smells awful and if you have sinus issues or problems with strange smells then maybe this is not for you you could probably try using the oils now i just spray this onto my scalp and uh, I, I just allow it to stay i don't rub it off i don't mind the smell you can see in the center of my head where my little boy i just have a little ball patch left to grow in if you've seen my other videos you would know that i have some issues with androgenic alopecia and so i've been using these remedies to regrow my bald spots and thinning crown so I also drink the juice because I like to drink or consume whatever I'm putting on my hair or especially on my scalp. I shouldn't say on my hair but on my scalp. You can do your research. There's a host of information on Noni juice. It has been used for centuries. And so this is all I will share in this video. I hope you found it useful and please remember to subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so like the video and leave me a comment if there's anything else that you need to know about noni thank you